Hey, hi developers, I'm Shahin Shah. In this tutorial, I'll be letting, know, letting you know how to implement the web services in Java. So what is a web service? Simply speaking, it's a service which is available over the net. It's called web service. And it's just as simply a function that is uh, made available over the internet. So whenever you pass the parameters, you can get the output of the function. So it can be a flat file or text file or it's a, just a uh, JSON or it may be an XML. So in Java we will implement it with the help of two APIs which is called JAX-WS and uh, JAX-RS. So JAX-WS is web service, JAX-RS is for restful service. So here uh, we'll be talking more about uh, JAX-WS and in the next tutorial we'll be explaining about JAX-RS. So JAX-WS uh, to uh, will will in this tutorial we'll be creating a live service and also we'll be deploying it on Apache Tomcat server and also we'll be consuming the service. So let us see both. So if you are creating a service, then you will call provider. If you are consuming, then you will be called as consumer. And we'll also see how to deploy it. So I'm using Eclipse ID for uh, creation and also consumption of an uh, web service. Let's go ahead and do it in the Eclipse. Here, I'm creating a new dynamic web project. Let me name it as WS Live. And then I'm using the Apache Tomcat version 8. So my project is ready, which is known as a WS Live. And here, I'm just going to create a simple class. And uh, our application is just to uh, check a web service, create a web service which is to create, uh, which is to uh, convert the Fahrenheit to Celsius and Celsius to Fahrenheit temperature. So here I am going to create a class. Let me name the class as converter. So my class name is converter. And I have already written a code for this. So what this converter class does, it's a small service which uh, takes the input whether it is Celsius or Fahrenheit and it converts to the vice versa. I have written some of the formulas and this is our uh, base service. And now how to make this uh, class as a service. So Eclipse gives all the tools, all the jar files which are uh, required for uh, converting into as web service. So how to do that? Right click it and you new others web service so these are two options one is to provide and also the client is to consume so we are going to create a web service i'm selecting a web service i'm giving next and there are two sections one is for creation and the other is for client which is a for conception so let us not uh, touch this client section uh, not to confuse you later we'll uh, get to know how to use this client type so for uh, service implementation i'm selecting it as a start service uh, let us select the test service, even we can test the service. So what is our service project which is WS Live which we have just created and web service runtime is Apache Access which is the behind the screen of our creation of web service and uh, we are using this uh, Apache Access uh, JAR files which will be taken care by the Eclipse and we are uh, using Tomcat version 8. Now, now what is our service implementation? Our service implementation class is converter class. So, I'm just giving browse converter is my class which is from WS Live. Okay, I have selected it. I'm going to publish this. So, I'm going to publish this and giving next. There are two functions which is Fahrenheit to Celsius, Celsius to Fahrenheit. We are uh, going to create uh, both. In our live service, we'll be having both this Fahrenheit to Celsius, Celsius to Fahrenheit. And there are actually two types of uh, implementation styles for uh, JAX WS. One is a document style, another one is RPC style. In this tutorial, I'm going to use only document style. And I'm going to give next. So it will take uh, a few seconds to create the service. So now, uh, it is asking whether we to launch the web service as explorer or not. So let us launch this. Okay. 
so web services is launched and now you can see that uh, there are uh, fahrenheit to celsius celsius to fahrenheit and you can give the input and you can check the output so i am going giving 50 and i am giving go and here in body you will get the output as 10 you can also check this uh, and uh, once we have created the web service the visitor will be Visdel, which is under WSDL, which is Web Service Description Language. So you can see the Visdel as well uh, for the service created. So what is the URL of this service? Localhost 8090 WS Live Services Converter. This is the so which is localhost WS Live Services and Converter. So this is the service. So how to check the WSDL for it? WSDL. So this is the WCDL which is uh, generated by our Eclipse and uh, now our live service is started and this is how to create a JAX WS service. Now let us see how to deploy it. So in order to deploy it you will need to have uh, a server which is available over internet and also you should have the Apache Tomcat server to be installed on the server. So I have already used one of the Amazon AWS server and I have installed uh, Apache Tomcat version 8. So how to deploy it? So right click it and then export and create a var file. So the var web project name is WS Live and let me create it uh, on desktop. Let me create the output of this var file on desktop. I have created it and it is for Apache Tomcat version 8. So I have created it. Now we have the jar file which is a WS Live. Here it is. So I am going here. So this is my Amazon AWS server and I have installed Apache Tomcat on it and I am going to manager apps and I am going to upload this var file and deploying it on the server yes my WS live service has been started let us check whether it is working or not so this is WS Live. Now we have to give services slash converter. So this is uh, service is active and running. If it is active and running, you will see this message. Hi there, there is an access service. And what is the path for uh, WSDL? WSDL. So you will be able to find, uh, find this WSDL. Now let me show you how to check whether this uh, live service is working or not. So it's active right now. So how to test it? I have a website. We have a website where we can test it. So the name of the website is servicerepository.com. So servicerepository.com. It is a public uh, website where you can find the different uh, services. It's not an UDDI. It's a non-UDDI registry. UDDI is uh, generally a central repository where you can find the services. So it's a kind of a UDDI and here we have a tools where we can test our uh, clients. So here I'm giving the output of my service. So here uh, we have created WS Live service and in that way our function name is, our class name is converter and I'm giving it. So here we have found out uh, two functions which is Celsius to Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit to Celsius. Let us go ahead and then give. So give Celsius. Let me give it as uh, 10. So the output should be 50 which will be we getting. So this is the XML file which will be generated and written to the client and the output is 50. So this is the XML file which will be generated. So let us uh, go ahead and check uh, the other function as well. Now it is 50. So the output should be 10. Okay. Yeah, here uh, you can see this. So our live service is active and also it is deployed and it is also being tested.
now we have uh, seen how to create a web service now next uh, let us see how to consume the web service so uh, let me not uh, consume the same service which i have created instead let us consume some of the realistic live web service like uh, weather or stack code so i am going to the same website which is service repository.com and here uh, i have seen one service which is weather so this is the weather uh, wsdl or uh, weather web live service which is available over internet so i am taking this uh, live service i am copying it and then how to consume it we are going to our code and then let us create a new project dynamic web project to create uh, to consume this web service and then i am showing ws consume my project name is ws consume my project is created now let us go ahead and create a web service which actually consumes the so which is an web service client so here uh, you'll see deploying client onto the tom tomcat so i am taking to the last level which is testing client so what is the service definition here service definition is where you give the wsdl so i am giving the wsdl and here i got this uh, finish button let us go ahead and check out how it works it will take few seconds to create it so let us go ahead so these are the functions which are available i am clicking on finish and let us test it on the local host server whether it is working or not yes now uh, as we have selected the test option we have uh, seen this it is automatically created all the jsp files and also it has created all the source files here you can see this is ws consume project and you will be able to see all the source files which is automatically written by the eclipse and uh, from the wisdel which we have uh, given so these are the files and also similarly you will be able to see all the jsps being created so these are the jsps being created so let us test uh, one of the function so get city weather by zip code so zip code let me give some zip code 15004 which is which should be a us zip code I'm not sure whether it is a correct zip code or not yeah it is a correct uh, correct zip code and uh, city name is pittsburgh so we have got the weather information here so the live service uh, we have uh, consumed the live service and it is working fine so this is how to create uh, consumption and it uh, it's as simple with the help of eclipse and you can also deploy this into your apache tomcat on the server it's pretty simple right so let us uh, summarize this so we have uh, implemented jax uh, ws live service and also we have created a converter function class which converts from celsius to fahrenheit fahrenheit to celsius and we have deployed it onto the local server first and then we have made a var file and we have uh, deployed it onto the server i have used amazon aws server with uh, apache tomcat 8 version and then we have consumed a live service which is a weather service and to get the weather information of any city that's it and we'll continue with the jax uh, rs in the next session